Hi again, it's Alicia from Huggable Earth. I'm sorry, I was just, I was fiddling with my camera and there I went. Okay, we're back with my awesome haul from the rummage sale. Okay, those are cards and stuff that I got for super cheap also. Okay, so more stamps. This whole set was 50 cents. Okay, this is really cool. Um, so just... I'm trying to take this off to, um, you know what, okay. So cool, okay. So, so cool. Lizzie Ann, Simply Singles. Okay, I don't know if you're to make, like, a sparkle fireworks. I don't know. I don't know what you do with this, honestly. Okay, so that's just this one little one. Is that? And then the rest, I really, I got it for like these couple of stars. Because they look like stars to me. Actual stars. Um, and I can use them on like celestial journals. That one too. I suppose is more star and less firework. These are more fireworksy. I'm probably not gonna use them. I'll probably put them in with like a a journaling bag. I'm I'm doing these journal bags up with like random stuff. This is a really cool script stamp. Huge. Again, this will cover like I mean, look at it compared to the size of my hand. It will cover like a whole page of a journal. Okay. So there's that stuff. That's going to go back in um, back in here real quick because I don't have room to keep it out because I have a whole nother box of stamps. Um, it was just amazing. This sale was just amazing. Like, you don't come across a sale like this ever. It's... it's one in a million sales would have deals like this and products like this for this price. Like you just, you do not see this. This corner punch was a quarter. Um, so cute. So cute. Just for like, I don't know, a journal edge, a card, whatever you want to use it for. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Ready? That's going to be lovely. I'm sure you guys will love that. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible camera personality. Oh, you don't want me to be your camera person. I'll tell you what. Don't hire me for your camera person. Just don't do it. Okay. This was a dollar. Oh, big purchase. Big ticket item right here. One buck I paid for this this bad boy. Nature and travel. Okay, it's so cool. This, I, I bought it for one specific stamp. And it's that one right there. Can you tell what it is? It's a postcard stamp. It's a whole stamp. That's a postcard. I have to get rid of all these stickers that say dollar. It's a whole postcard stamp. The whole... It's like for a real postcard to make a real postcard. I love that. That's like, you know, the whole size of my hand. Do I have a particularly small hand? I mean, all of these are like the size of my hand. I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. Then there's this. If friends were flowers, if friends are like flowers, I'd pick a bunch like you. And then there's like all these flowers. And I think this is kind of like one of those layering ones that you could do the different colors and like do this first in green and then do that one next with like a yellow or brown or something over top of it. And it would look really cool. Um, so there's those. They're actually a lot bigger than they look on that first picture, aren't they? Can I zoom out a little bit so that you guys can kind of see that better? My, okay. My area is right jam-packed full of stuff because I'm trying to show you guys 
What's going on? Let me get my candle out of there. Um, well, I brought this stuff out in case we wanted a stamp. But I've only tried out one stamp because there's just so much. I don't think... If I were to try out all these stamps, we would be here for probably a week. Um, so these ones are brand new. Never been used. Like, even them getting them on clearance, plus these other two sets, even on clearance, for $4 they bought this. Like, I bought this and the case for a dollar. And then this whole page, brand new. Impression Obsession. I had never heard of this brand, but they make nice stamps. I never heard of that brand until today, when I was at this rummage sale. Um amazing stamps. I'm super impressed with their stamps though. I I bought a bunch. Okay. 25 cents. Stars. Magical journals. This was a $10 stamp. Okay. Do you guys see this? $10. Like, please, to get these, this was a dollar. Another high ticket item right here. Big purchase. I like this a lot, though. There's a lot of good stamps in there. Um, we're getting right down there. This is about it for the wood-backed stamps. And, um, oh, I got a little handful more of some tiny ones. These are cute, though. I don't know what these are. I think these are cling. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, that's really cute. Anotherstampcompany.com. That's cute. That's really cute. I'll use that a lot. I can guarantee it. That looks like something that I'll love. Um, I am not sure what that is. I don't know what that is. Let's, let's, whoop! I'm going to cut my foot off. I have these furry slipper things on, and I just dropped those scissors almost right on my toe. Oh, that was terrible. Terribly. Terrifying. I've been just injuring myself non-stop. I'm accident prone. I don't know why. It's, it's horrible to be so accident prone. Just a couple days ago, I'm outside decorating for Halloween, and I just walk out the front door, and it's like something you'd see on a movie, I swear, and I just fall, like, head over heels right into my hydrangeas and, and roll all the way into my lawn and right into the blow-up yard plushies. It was mortifying. There's these three teenage girls just walking by across the street, and and they're like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I was like, oh yeah, 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 I'm good. You know, mortifying, completely mortifying. Just stuff like that all the time. You know, my tailbone is so sore from that stuff. Ridiculous, ridiculous to be falling down all the time like that. Just, to, you know, it's like I don't even know where my feet are. Oh, I like all these. I like all these. This is like, um, oh, I like him. I like him a lot. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to bop bop this on a, on a wipe afterwards. I don't know if that's doing anything at all, actually. You know, people pay, look at that, the three seventy five for one tiny little itty bitty thing. Dream design. Three seventy five. Someone paid for that tiny little stamp. Oh my gosh. $6.99 for this. Like, people did pay for this. People paid that price for these stamps, and I got this whole pack for a dollar. I just love it. I think these are fantastic. I gotta have a little bit of fun with them before the kids get home from school. I just, I just do. These, I like this set a lot. If you couldn't tell, I, I really do. That was so nice. I just like that. Let's see how it looks on vellum. I brought up vellum too, just because I never use vellum and I just think it looks really nice in a journal and I wish I could use it more. That's cool. That's cool, isn't it? I think that looks nice. Because then it, like, shows through to the next page. And it'll just look nice. It'll just look nice. It will, you know. It just does. It just looks nice. Look, on the other side, we'll do this 
sun up there. Pretty. That's super pretty. Okay. I like that. Okay. Um, it, we better do this one. I can't just leave that one out now. I like it. That's cool, too. That one's almost like, um... Oh my gosh, you know those little those little dancing guys that you like see on the bumper stickers? I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. They're cute. Those cute little dancing guys that you see on like the bumper stickers. They make you kind of happy to look at. I don't know what their names are. Something cute. Something cute. Okay, so there's that set. We have a ghosty. He was 25 cents. He's cute. I want to check him out. Oh, he's nice. He's very simple. Very simple. Very simple and nice. I like him. My page is very dirty. Why is it so dingy looking now? I don't know why it's so dingy. Why does it look so dingy? I must have really gone to town on it, huh? With that... I went to town on it with that um, wipe, is what happened. Let's see. Oh, they'll make a Halloween page. Okay. We have more Halloween stuff. Oh, yes. He's going to go right up the sides. He has lots of friends. Look at him. He's just going to. Oh, yeah. There. Lots of friends. Okay. Lots of friends. Nice on the vellum. Mm-hmm. So cute. Okay. This one's cute, too. This is like the same. They're all like the same brand, I think. See, that's not, you know, that wasn't bad. That's a 99 cent stamp. That's like, that's like the kind of stamp I buy. I'll tell you what. That's why I have to go and buy these at like a yard sale or a, a Salvation Army or not even the Salvation Army. You know, I was at the Salvation Army the other day. They want like $3 for a stamp like this. Even if it says 99 cents, that was the original price. They'll be like $3. It's $3. I know they're trying to get donations. But if it says the original price was 99 cents, don't put $3 on it. You know what I mean? Put 75 cents on it. You're also trying to help people out that don't have, like, a ton of money. I mean, that one's so cute. That one is so cute. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Her ice cream cone has eyes and is licking her head. <laughs> that's hilarious oh my gosh that's a really funny stamp 25 cents that's so funny I really like that wonkiness of that one I really really like the wonkiness of that one these are great stamps like I just can't get over them oh this is a little celestial one. Oh, cute it's just like a little, you know, I don't know what that is. Um, little time warp. The TARDIS is going to be going through there any minute. No, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Come on. This needs to go in with, the, oh, this has to go in with these ones. And I didn't put this guy in either. See, he totally belongs in there. there. Okay, those belong together. Okay. I think we're done trying out the stamps. We should be, anyway, for a minute. Okay, because we've got to get on with this. This video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. I'm really wasting everyone's time for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Oh, this is another wooden one. I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm really not. A quarter. It's a candy corn. And I like that it was a candy corn like this so that you could just stamp this. And it'll just be like that so then you can color it in no you can't see that i'm out of frame i'm sorry Durr. okay so you just stamp it and then you can color it in like this make it look just like that that'll be so cute or make it look whatever you want like it could look like a unicorn horn too and then just make your little unicorn be under there it'll be so cute okay now Okay, so these ones are really cool. All these are, like, brand new in the package. Never been used. Never touched. Okay, beautiful. I don't see, I don't know about waltzing mouse stamps either. I'm not sure about this brand. Okay, but there's that one. 
with those frames. Very pretty. This one with these frames. They're like borders. They're like borders and stuff to go around edges. And then there's this. And it says sending you only good vibes, but you could use those individually. Catherine Pooler. Catherine Pooler. I'm probably not saying it right. Um, what else? A brand new uh, Julie Nutting stamp. I know that they're usually sought after. I think they're pretty. I have, I think I have one, but the, my dolls are like this big because I just never wanted to, you know, I never wanted to spend the money on a big one. Those Prima stamps, they get expensive. So stencils were 10 cents. So I bought this stencil. It's never been used. I bought this Hero Arts stamp for um, 25 cents. This one, that's wood grain. I think that's super pretty. Oh, these I really like too. Um, they're just different. This looks like, I don't know, like arrows or something. They're like all brand new, I mean. They're all brand new in the package, so this I really liked also. Um, this is again that that impression obsession. So cover a card, cling background stamp. Ten cents for this um, stencil. It was a Hobby Lobby stencil. This one, which is a background stencil or stamp, 25 cents. Brand new. They paid $12.99. Um, 25 cents for this one also. They're all 25 cents, unless I, unless I say otherwise. How about that? Again, that impression and obsession. Really cool. I got this one. I really, really like this. I know it looks like a simple, stupid stamp, but this is perfect for junk journals that I do because those are like writing lines. And that's... I have been looking for a stamp like that for a very long time. Um, so these, this is a little stencil pack from Simon Says Stamp, and it doesn't appear to have ever been opened. I got this for 10 cents. Um, it says Holy City Skyline. I got it specifically for the little star one in there, but it appears that there's several st um, stencil sets. And I think that this is like, it looks like that's um, maybe Bethlehem or something. And I think that that would be fun to use at Christmas time. Um, I got this Lawn Fawn one, which is just cute. It's just cute. It's just 10 cents. Brand spanking new. Photo polymer clear stamps. Um, she's beautiful. Come on. 10 cents. Picket Fence Studios. Okay. This one. 25 cents. Stampology. Um, flourishes. 25 cents. So, oh, apparently I have two sets of flourishes in this one. Um, because... These are actually acrylic stamps on the front, and then on the back, I also have these red rubber stamps. 
Um, so that's actually really cool, and I didn't know about that. Um, okay, so I just really, really love Halloween. And I've been kind of obsessed with cats since I was, like, a little kid. I love cats, and I saw this one, and I kind of had to have it because they're really... They have a lot of... I don't know. There's just so much going on here. They have so much character. And they look like, like, look at those ones. They're so cute. They're flying down on a balloon. And look at him. He's, like, dancing. And they're just, they're really so adorable. They're so, so cute. I wish I had that one. I tell you what, I cannot find a stamp that says journal like that for the life of me. I might have to look for that, that stamp set, that journal one. I can't find that anywhere. I can't find a journal, one that says journal anywhere. I am looking like you would not believe. Okay, this is Tim Holtz. I don't have this set. I have a lot of Tim Holtz sets. I do not have that one. I do not have this one either. This one has never been opened. Never, ever been opened. Um, Dilusions from Diane Reevely. Brand spanking new also. I'm loving these. Um, so I thought, I don't have any sentiment stamps. I don't know. I don't make cards very often, but sometimes we just don't have a card for like when the kids get invited to a birthday party. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? I don't have a card. You can just like make them a card really quick. But then we just write happy birthday. And I was just like, that's just perfect. It says happy birthday right there. And I liked this too, that it says handmade by because... You know, sometimes I do a craft fair once in a while. I mostly sell online, but, and this one was, this one looks like it was well-loved, and I think I will love it, too, because it, there's some good sentiments, so I, I like that one a lot. I think that that one's going to get a lot of use. Uh, brand new, Recollections, that's a, what's that, Michael's brand, I believe, um, this, I, I love the text in this, and it just says, um, romance together, love, dreamer, quirky, and times. Good times. That, times would be kind of weird. I mean, it could be like quirky times, romance times, <laughs> together times. I, I don't, I don't know. I do have this set, um... But I got it anyway because I don't know if I have the clock in mine. I, I had gotten this one used. To I had gotten the other one that I have used also. Um, I've been lucky about finding Tim Holtz sets used. So I don't have many alphabets and I just liked these. And, you know, for whatever I paid for that, 10 or 25 cents. It's just a pretty good deal. 75 cents for these ones. Okay, but this is a whole DVD case. And it's full of the photopolymer or acrylic stamps. And it doesn't appear that they've ever been used. And these have really useful stamps like this. I'll use that um, and then, you know, cut it out and you can just write something in there or use it as a label on a journal and you can see in the back like what those are so i like those these look handy too i like that um there's some sentiments over there i really don't have many sentiments because i don't you know i like things i i don't know I like to spell things out, I guess, if I'm going to do it or like, I like to buy the kits of like ephemera. 
or spell things like type them out on my computer if I'm going to do it so that I have exactly what I want to say because I'm picky about what I want things in my journal to say. Again, there's another set of alphabets. I just think that these are funny. I don't know. I think that they're quirky and funny for journals. I'm about done. Um, these aren't even cut apart though. Apparently you have to cut these apart. I've never done that, but I will because they're cool and I could use this in a circus one or Halloween too. Um, this is a great sentiment one. I'm loving this one. I will definitely, definitely use this. It just says, you rock, happy, sweet. Um, you deserve it. Smile. Hey. Ah, oh, congrats. Happy birthday. Love you. So, that's a good one also. This one, Simon Says Stamp, 25 cents. I like the tree. It's very modern looking. The stars are definitely handy to have because you can never have too many stars. And there's a lot of different shaped stars there. Um, so I think that that'll be really, really cool. This is a huge, huge set of Tim Holtz. It appears to be at least one large set um, with his ticket there. Uh, Love, Wish, Dream. This that he... Didn't he make like a stencil of that recently? I don't know. I watch all of his YouTube um, when he puts out, like, new products. Curiosity. I love that. I will definitely use that. Like, often. These guys, they're very, very cool. They look curious, don't they? Um, possibility. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. So, 75 cents, come on. Look at that. Okay, and this is my last one, and it was 25 cents. Big whopping quarter. And this is Flourish Inchies. Rubber Necker. Oh, okay. So... Wow. See, I thought these are like so, so handy. Look at how big this is. It's super duper tiny. Like anywhere you need a tiny little something, there's every shape of flourish. I only saw the corner of it. Like, I only saw the corner. I only saw the little edge and I was like, oh, those are good. And I saw this picture and I was like, yeah, I want that. Definitely. There were, there were so many more also. Um, so that's it. That wraps it up for all of my findings for today um, in the regard to stamps. Uh, did I need these? No. Did I absolutely have to have them? Yes. <laughs> uh, that I'm stoked about the Celestia ones. They're just super cool. And this, I I don't know. This might be my favorite stamp, all, like, of all time. I just... Sonny Carvalho is who made this. I might have to look up their other stamps. That's just a very, very cool stamp. I don't know. I like that quirky miss. Okay, I'm sorry. My head's in the way. Um, well, I did get one more little punch, but I wasn't really excited about it because, well, it's not really my deal, okay? It's, um, it's an anchor. 
Okay, so let's take the name label off. Um, so you know, it's not really my thing. It punches great. It's a great punch, like it punches perfectly, but it's not my thing. You know. Um so that was a quarter though. I mean it's a, it's an inch punch for a quarter. If I do a mermaid one, a mermaid journal, which I do have some mermaid stuff set up, I could put her in it. Yes. Um and then I could use that, is what I was thinking. There was also a seashell, but it was super tiny, and I think I have one in my big set of those super tiny ones. So, I just didn't get it. I just don't want a bunch of... I have so many punches, and really, they do take up a lot of space. And, like, I bought all this stuff already. I already had all these, and I was like, no, I just don't need... There was a tiny, tiny handful of the punches, and none of them were Halloween-ish, which is really what I'm looking for. And they really didn't have them. I was really happy with what I did find. Because I think that's quite a haul for $20. That is a haul for $20. Bucks. All those stamps for $20. Come on. That's just a ton of stamps for $20. That's a ridiculous amount of stamps for $20. Bucks. Okay, and then this stuff here was like, I don't even know, super cheap. This was 25 cents for all these little plastic bags to pack stuff in. Um, so I got them. 25 cents for these vintage cards. I don't know if they're vintage yet. They're, they're right close. They're $19.99. Okay. Um, so they're right there. These ones, they look pretty vintage to me. There's quite a lot of them. Um, they were 50 cents. I really like the image on them. So, let's see. Oh, are these all different? I don't know if they're all... Oh, no, these are all the same. Okay. Are they? Oh, they are. Oh, I like her a lot. I like her a lot. Oh, thinking of you at Christmas and wishing you God's blessings always. Min USA plus Mark, an American greetings company. Okay, they feel really nice. They are shiny. They're not matte, so that's kind of, you know, meh. I'm not super fond of that, but um, for a card, that would be great. But I'm going to use them as journal journal things. I'm going to use them as parts of journals. Okay. Then these are super, super gloss, but that's fine, too. I'm going to tone them down. Thinking of you at Christmas with a wish that every year of the day, that every day of the new year will be a happy one for you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what year these are from. They look pretty old, though. That imagery is quite old. I would have to say 80s. I would have to say 80s for that, for those slaves. Because this is 99, and I don't think that they're, they're not the same era. This is older. For sure, than that. Um, I just, just the feeling and everything feels older. Um, which I like. I want them to be as vintage as possible. Seriously. They might even be like 70s. Which is cool. I don't know though. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. They might be from, you know, five years ago. I don't think they are though. Personally. But... Okay, <laughs> these are really cool envelopes. Um, Hallmark envelopes. And see, they're like money card envelopes, but I'm not going to use them for money cards. I'm going to use them for a tall, skinny mini journal. 
and like put them together and make them into like really cool little fast and easy journals just glue and sew and add some ribbon and they'll be so adorable see this is going to be glued there and it's going to look like an envelope that can open but it's not going to open it's going to be the front of a cute little journal have it all inked up put a cute little image there so so nice Mm -hmm. have tucks there bind in some pages it'll be a cute little notebook mm -hmm. maybe line the inside with fabric it'll be really cute so there's like 25 of them there 25 cents really really super adorable i won't even take the tags off because that's going to take forever 50 envelopes in here um brand new pack it might have been opened but I'm guessing that like one or two were taken out. This is this is a full pack. So, um, and what's cool is these ones open a different way. So, um, this could be like mini books, which is really cool, or just add this into a journal and and maybe tuck this in and just glue that down, and it can be a pocket page inside a journal. So that you can tuck tags and stuff in when you've got it in a journal and it'll just be that really pretty page um same with these these are almost the same except the flap is a little different um and they say season's greetings and i got two packs of them because just seriously where are you gonna get 35 envelopes for 50 cents um 15 cents for these two of each design they're cards um and just i can just use any paper that's printed like that uh same with these these are address labels that just say season's greetings but i will just you can use them as a to and from on packages they were 15 cents you know so there's like four pages worth in here with four of them missing. And then this one's completely sealed. It says 150 labels. These are really cute holiday note cards. They were 50 cents each, this one and this one, but I really, really like them. 24 imprintable note cards and 24 envelopes. So cute, though, for, um, and I just, I really like that rustic look of them. I like that. I don't know. That called me. For some reason, <laughs> this imagery was calling to me. Um, and then another one of these little stickies for 15 cents, even to mark my stuff at the holiday craft fair that I'm going to do, um, with my mom. I think that these are beautiful. You know, just 15 cents for 180, uh, 15 cents for 150, and 15 cents for however many are in the other one. These four baskets were brand new in bags. I took them out of the bags just to feel what they were like. And it's really kind of weird. They're like mesh, almost like really thin burlap or even like, I don't know, like thicker tool or something or like something you would have outside like I don't know they're weird but they were four for a dollar and I think that they would they're cute to have around the house or to use um to store craft supplies in or to have at a craft show so there's yellow and like meadow green and like a, I don't know, summer orange. And then there's like this, ah, oh, it's like winter blue. Okay. I don't, where am I getting these names from? I'm like advertising these baskets I just bought for a dollar. Okay. I don't know. Really, I don't. It's been a long morning already. Okay. Let's go on to this. This is my dollar box. This is another really big purchase. My phone is going to die like really soon. Hi guys, I'm back. This is my last thing from the 
rummage sale event. The extravaganza. I need a drink. This has been a long, a long video split up into like a bunch. I'm really sorry. Um, I need a drink really quick. Okay. We're moving the pumpkin spice latte now. Oh, I almost just turned off my light. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Terrible, terrible thing going on. Okay. It's horrible. All right. I have no room to even move now. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these stamps. I have to stamp something right away. Stat. Okay. I got this. This is a, a swag or something, right? Do, they, do people call these swags? Is that what this is called? Just, I don't know. Is this called a swag? I think it's primitive swag. It's swaggy. I'm feeling swagalicious with it. Okay. All right. These look like fun, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. This was all a dollar. This whole box. Does it look like it was worth a dollar? I'm still questioning it. This thing here tells you to water it. Water this. Water this. Two plastic bulbs and a pine cone. Water me daily. <laughs> Upon receipt of this container, fill Upon receipt, fill this container with water. Add water daily. Always water over a sink. I have to assume there was more to the container than this. This. One thing. Was there more than this? There had to have been more than this. There had to have been, right? Please tell me there was more than that. I'm not watering. A pine cone that is hot glued to a wire stem with two plastic bulbs. I'm just not doing it. No one can make me. I refuse. Okay. I will be doing some fun crafting with all of this weird foliage. Okay? That cost me a dollar. And these... I'm going to put these in my hair and look like a Greek goddess. It's going to be fantastic. You should do the same. I highly recommend it. I'm done with this video. I, I bid you farewell. Don't ignore this hand. What is wrong with it? Gosh, I look like I've been working in a coal mine. No offense to the coal miners. Thank you for doing your duties out there in the coal mine. It's a very dangerous job. I couldn't do it. I bid you farewell. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I am, am overtired and, and not caffeinated enough. I need to drink more of that latte. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun at this rummage sale. It was really a terrible place for me to have gone. And I need to not go to another one for quite a long time. <laughs> The ladies at the checkout were like, oh, it's next weekend too. Come back. I was like, no, I can't. My husband's going to kill me. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to y'all next time. I'll see you later and goodbye. And if you found this video informative or fun or, you know, entertaining anything really at all then please just maybe like it look at how dirty my finger is or subscribe even um i can put out a lot more videos now that my kids are in school again which is really nice uh because i feel like you guys are like awesome to talk to it's like talking to myself but then putting it on the internet and it's it, that is what it is actually okay i'm so done i really am this is quite enough goodbye thank you farewell crafty people of the world
Bye.